Hi there, and welcome to TC Fex. After completing your research paper, you should ask yourself one question. How can we select the most suitable journal for the publication of our research? Choosing a suitable journal for the publication of your research is vitally important, as this can be the deciding factor on whether your published research gets a high level of citations and comments from fellow researchers, whether your H-index will go higher, and other such factors. These will be explained in more detail in the full courses offered here. Firstly, go to the top right-hand corner and open the Research Toolbox. Once the mind map has opened, click on option 3 on the right-hand side, which is named Targeting Suitable Journals. As you can see, we have many tools at our disposal, but for this illustration, we shall concentrate on a specific one. Before that, you have to know the terminology in selecting a journal. For example, let's say you want to publish your paper in the Annual Review of Medicine. First, view the information relating to the journal on the ISI Web of Science platform. There you'll be presented with various statistics, including total citations, impact factor, and five-year impact factor. These terms will be explained fully in the full course offered. Other things to be considered when targeting this journal would be how many references you should put at the end of your research paper. Go down to the bottom of the page of this example, and you can see the average number of references in each paper was 71.4. Thus, submitting a paper with only 20 references, for example, would probably result in a non-acceptance. This is important to know, or else you may submit an article which the journal rejects because you didn't follow the criteria set down by it. Other information, for example, acceptance ratio, and the time it takes the editor to respond to you is also accessible. All this can be found in great detail in the full course offered about ISI Index. Thanks for listening to our brief synopsis about the use of ISI Index, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.